Uh, we get to catch up with senior forward Sarah Caranta here on Women's Hockey Weekly. And uh, on a personal level, uh, I've been waiting for the opportunity, uh, the good opportunity to do that for some time. And uh, uh, here we are, a game after you get yourself a big goal and a big win against a very big rival uh, in their barn. And uh, sort of a, a nice uh, uh, kick in the pants confidence-wise for the team, I guess, uh, going into further conference play this weekend against Lindenwood. Uh, first off, just, I mean, how did you feel when, when that puck crossed the line? Just, you know, looking back on, you know, uh, what you've been through uh, in your four years here. Yeah, I mean, it's been tough, but I mean, you know, it was a sense of relief, I guess, um, just putting that puck in the net. But again, it was just helping our team out, get the win, and, you know, it obviously felt good and get the monkey off my back, so. And, and you know, when you, when you win championships, when you chase what this team is chasing, you need – you need a good supporting cast. You need role players. You need uh, you need players in those positions doing those things, tugging on the same rope. A and you've become very adept at that in your four years here. You've been you've been a very strong supporting cast member. Um, it, what um, what is the the aspect of your game that uh, that you're most proud of to this point? Um, I just think working hard every day in and out of the rink. I mean, I'm um, just putting in that extra effort. And hopefully it pays off on the ice and, um, you know, just contributing to the team any way I can. What is it like being a member of this senior class, this particular senior class on and off the ice? Because they just, I mean, you know, Welsh, like you, all the, like these are players that they don't just ooze talent, but they ooze personality as well. And it's very, very evident when we're around all of them. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we're a very tight class and um, it's great to have, especially in our last year here. So we're just making the best of everything we can and, uh, you know, hopefully get that CHA win again. Looking at Saturday just from a broader, from a team picture, what impressed you the most about what the team did on Saturday, you know, all things considered? I mean, with the way the game went on Friday, um, it was a tough loss. It was tough to take in, obviously. But, you know, it's one game at a time. It's a new day. So um, we just, you know, we told each other we need to stick together, just play our game, um, let yesterday's the game before on Friday, just, you know, put that away and focus on what was at stake. And, um, you know, obviously it showed with the score, so it was great to, you know, stick as a team, get the win, and, uh, yeah. And, you know, like I was saying to Curly, it, it isn't every day that that particular opponent uh, is beaten by that many goals in their own building. So, uh, you know, all the more uh, all the more credit to the team for the way it played. Uh, do you do you kind of see things the way that she did just in terms of maybe the team's work ethic being, you know, ramped up player by player a little bit in that Saturday game? Yeah, for sure. And like Mercy Harris, of course, it's a rivalry. So, I mean, that was also an extra little pump up there. And, you know, we weren't going to walk out of that barn without two points. So, um, again, it was just a t full team effort, and it was a great win by the entire team. And, again, you've uh, in your four years here, you've played a lot of different roles. Um, you know, obviously, you know, the end game is to, is to cap it off with a championship, to go out in that high note. Uh, from an individual standpoint, just from your own development as a hockey player, what are you hoping to achieve in your final collegiate season? I mean, it's been the same goal every year. I mean, just, you know, helping the team any way I can and, you know, just working hard, putting in that effort, and just, you know, helping the team any way I can and, you know, looking for that main goal of winning a championship here, especially going into my last year. It is family weekend at RMU. Uh, it is uh – uh, the big Halloween weekend here on the island. Uh, we're going to have a costume contest here uh, during the Saturday game. The women's and the men's game on Saturday, I should point out. 105, the women play Lindenwood. 705, the men play RIT on Saturday. Um, your favorite Halloween ever? Do you have, uh, is there one in particular from your past that stands out in mind? Uh, I'm not really a big Halloween fan, but uh, <laughs> I don't like that fame. But uh, <laughs> one I can remember, I was uh, an old lady, so that was one of the ones I can remember for sure. It's funny you meant didn't was it um was it Britt and EJ that dressed as the elderly couple last year? I'm trying to remember because that for so immediately my brain flashed to flashed to that when you said. That. Oh yeah, that was for sure. <laughs> them walking in. <laughs> yeah. right, so I mean, uh, what what is the team doing for Halloween? Are they doing anything as a group this year? Anything for the holiday? Yeah, we're actually um, after our Saturday game, we're heading over to one of our houses and just gonna have a little Halloween party and you know walk in with our costumes. So it'll be fun. And hopefully you're going to have a, a couple of victories by then to celebrate. Uh, again, uh, very, very busy weekend on the island, but uh, we all hope and we all suspect it's going to be a lot of fun as well. We have uh, a women's men's doubleheader. Of course, the women play Lindenwood at 3.05 Friday. 
105 Saturday. The men have a pair of 7 o'clock games against RIT, so they'll be playing in conference as well. And uh, Saturday is the big uh, Halloween uh, to-do, so come down, cheer the Colonials, wear some costumes, and uh, let's get Q some more goals, and let's get the team some wins for that matter. Let's get two big conference wins this weekend. Thanks, Sarah. Appreciate the time. Thank you. I appreciate it.